everybody sit down in your seat and tell a teacher turn on your TV cause we about to take you higher, you're tuned in to the forest fire, the forest fire, the forest fire, the forest fire. Hey Panthers, welcome to Forest Fire. I'm Austin. And I'm Nicole. Today is Monday, December 14th, 2009. Carolina Forest is part of the Polar Plunge to raise money for the Special Olympics. For more details, here's Ms. Pritz. Um, my older sister Dawn was born with Down Syndrome. And she's my best friend in the whole wide world. And every year she was lucky enough to participate in the Special Olympics. And whenever you go to an event, these athletes, they don't care if they win. And it's all about the spirit of the games and trying their hardest. And it's something, it's a great organization to support. And there is an event here that we raise money for the Special Olympics, and it's the Polar Plunge. So the whole school needs to get together. We need to raise money for this good cause. The Polar Plunge is to support Special Olympics. Um, what happens is a bunch of people get together and they decide to jump in the water in Myrtle Beach. It's freezing cold in January. And what happens is you, the student body, actually pay money to get them to jump in the water. Most teachers set a dollar amount. My personal dollar amount is $200. If you will donate that money, I will jump in the water just for you. It's a great cause, Special Olympics. If you've never taken part in a Special Olympics event, it's an awesome thing. And you can help by donating money. Thanks, Miss Prince. Let's check out what's in the inbox. Now it's time to check the Spanish tutoring will be every Tuesday after school in B113 and B121. The senior trip must be paid in full by Tuesday, December 15th. If you have any questions, please ask Ms. Stevens. The FBLA club members who will be competing in the district conference in January must turn in $20 to Ms. Gore or Ms. Jones by December 15th. Chick-fil-A mini biscuits will be for sale in the cafeteria, athletic hallway, and 300 concourse. It will be $2.50 each. There will be a senior class meeting Monday, December 14th in Ms. Dent's room immediately after school. All seniors are asked to attend in the initial last 10 minutes. Netbook Labs open on Monday and Tuesday next week during all lunches. Students can send Christmas cards to troops overseas. This will be a class competition. Student Council will be hosting Don't Forget the Lyrics next Wednesday through Friday during all lunches. Students can compete against each other. And that's today's inbox. So, Mr. Fallon, why do you like to use Word of the Day? I don't. No, I'm just joking with you. Um, it's actually kind of fun. It started, believe it or not, with a math teacher, uh, Miss uh, Beatty. Um, well, I am going to defer to my highly educated neighbor, Mr. Dudley, uh, to discuss this gargantuan and extremely important topic. So that the pupils may add polysyllabic words to their lexicon so as not to resort to expletives when making an argument. Thank you. Have a good day. Mr. Williams, why do you like to use word of the day? Well, I honestly think that you need to have your English skills in all the classes, not just in math, not just in English. So having the word of the day is just a little something to give students an idea to expand their vocabulary a little bit. Well, back to the studio. What's up, Panthers? I'm Connor Shastler here with your Forest Fire Sports Report. Let's see what's going on in the forest. The boys' JV basketball team will be against the Seahawks tonight at home at 6 p.m. Boys' track preseason workouts are being held in the weight room after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. JV football players that do not attend the award ceremony can pick up their pictures and or certificates from Coach Jolly during lunch next Monday the 14th or Wednesday the 16th in the weight room. 
Boys in grades 9 to 12 interested in trying out for JV or varsity baseball this spring that did not sign up last week and come by the weight room during their lunch next Monday on the 14th or Wednesday the 16th to sign up and get important information concerning preseason conditioning. That's all for your Forest Fire Sports Report. We'll have your lunch menu right after this message. For lunch, they'll be serving chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Or a good old cheeseburger and fries. Well, that's all for today's show. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching the Forest Fire and have a great day.